You can integrate your service with Crowdin by creating an app. In this video, we'll talk with Vasilis from LexiQA about creating a Crowdin app that allows users to use LexiQA within Crowdin UI. Why did you decide to integrate with Crowdin? Our main motivation uh, for the Crowdin integration was to basically try to get a wider reach with another community of online translation users. In the older days, it was very common to have your own desktop tool. You would work there in a kind of an isolated environment. But now working on the clouds can feel a bit intimidating for people. But uh, it is actually a lot easier than it sounds to make an integration like this, especially if there is good uh, cooperation between the developers, let's say. And in our experience, for example, the, the crowding team led by Sergey, has been on top of everything, very helpful with the, the whole uh, process from the beginning, and also very enthusiastic about the potential of a new uh, integration like that. So our experience was very positive from beginning to end. Our tool works best in online environments. This was the original purpose it was designed for, online integrations. <clears throat> and that way we promote also the idea of online translation environments a bit more because we know that this is where the future is uh, on the cloud tell us a few words on how the integration works what should be the first thing for the new users to try the uh, integration is set up in the translation editor of crowded so basically whenever you are in the environment where you do your work you will find our checks popping up so there will be warnings for any things that might be problematic. I guess one of the first things that uh, a crowding user would benefit from is the spell checking, because this is something that anyone considers to be uh, absolutely necessary. But uh, on a lot of occasions, for languages especially, where there are no other, uh, there's no other support uh, for an online environment, um, like other browser spell checkers, which can be very basic and not updated for years in some cases. So all that, um, you know, you don't have to worry about anymore. Uh, all that will be provided by us. And uh, apart from the spell checking, of course, which would stand out, let's say, as a feature, then uh, I would say the local specific checks are the ones that would make the most difference. Uh, because these are things that you wouldn't get in any other QA environment. So uh, whatever will make a difference in terms of the quality of your translation, it's there. So I guess it also depends on the type of content that you are normally dealing with. Uh, in more technical contexts, you might have more problems with numbers and figures that you need to get right like conversions of numbers with decimals and so on from one language to another. So it could be anything like that. Uh, but even for something as basic as uh, spell checking, as I said, that's something anyone would expect to have, but a lot of the case, they don't find it available. So I would say those would be the first two uh, more um, immediately accessible and useful features. How long did it take you to create this integration? It wasn't actually very long. Uh, I think it took about a week or 10 days uh, because I wasn't uh, directly involved in it. Uh, our CTO, Dimitris, was the one who basically did most of the work. Uh, the main challenge, let's say, was to find the right place to visualize the warnings in the editor. And I guess that's mostly the most part of the work that needs to be done is how to present the warnings. Uh, because there were no restrictions in terms of how the warnings would be placed. I mean, we had a, a, a blank check from Sergey, you know, do what you think is best. Uh, this is the, the code, you know, you can do whatever you, you need to do in that environment. So, uh, we created a space which is running exactly parallel to the target area where you're translating. So that way you have basically one more row 
that shows you the same target text with the warnings in the translation editor. And that means that visually it's very close to the area where you actually work. And that means it's very simple as a process to make the corrections that need to be made in the actual target text area. So it should be quite straightforward. For us, uh, from a technical point of view, it was. And because of the communication we have with uh, the technical team, whenever there are changes, let's say, in the editor, we will be able to adapt to them. So the integration will always be functioning properly. What would you recommend to people considering creating an app for Crowdin? I would think the simplest thing to do would be to make sure you're in touch with uh, Sergey or the technical team because they know exactly what the requirements are for people using the platform and uh, they will be able to help with any technical queries very efficiently. So uh, communication would solve any potential challenges out there. I don't really see many challenges on the technical side because the environment is very lean and it functions very well at all levels that we have seen at least where we are involved with our integration. So it should be a very straightforward process, beginning to end. Anything else you'd like to mention to our audience? would be very happy to help anyone who would like to test the Lexca integration in Crowdin Editor. Uh, we offer a, a period, a trial period, let's say, which can be quite extensive depending on your needs, uh, in order to make sure that everything works properly for you. And we'll be very happy to have an open channel uh, communication, even have a demo to show you exactly how things work so that you have no questions before you decide whether you want to use it or not. We can provide the instructions for people to sign on. It's a very simple process. It takes like two minutes to do it. And then you can have the checks in your editor and try it out. And let us know what you think. I mean, we're very keen to have feedback about this. You don't know you need it until you actually use it. We, we like to hope that the way that the warnings work in the editor is so intuitive that you will never struggle to learn how to use it. It should take about five minutes to understand what you're doing without us telling you anything, just by looking at the warnings. You know exactly what to do in the editor.